Welcome back to my channel and today we are at Peterborough Cathedral. Unfortunately I didn't get a lot of footage for in here as there was lots of people about today as they were holding an event. However I did manage to get a small amount of footage and quite a few lovely pictures. So here we go. Massive building, lots and lots of windows, lots to look at, loads of history and it's really lovely. I was hoping for the big Christmas lights that the cathedral normally has, but we do have a Christmas tree that's lit up, but unfortunately that's all. The ceiling is Victorian and it's very colourful. And yet again, we have the lovely golden eagle which seems to be in every church. Um, it's called the Flying Eagle. It's the symbol of John the Evangelist, who proclaimed Christ as the word of God. The detail in this is really amazing. And we have found the former burial place of poor old Mary, Queen of Scots, who we covered a small amount on in my previous video in Fotheringhay. Hay. Mary wanted to be buried in France, but this request was refused by Elizabeth. Uh, her body was embalmed and left in a lead coffin until her burial in a Protestant service at Peterborough Cathedral in late July 1587. Her body parts were removed as part of the embalming process and they were secretly buried within Fothering Hay Castle. Mary's body was exhumed from her burial place in Peterborough Abbey and moved to Westminster Abbey. Um, today a flag of Scotland hangs in Peterborough Cathedral to mark the former location of Mary's tomb. And now we have Catherine Queen of England, Catherine of Aragon, first wife of Henry VIII. Catherine died at the age of 51 from heart cancer. A horrible death, but at least she kept her head. And look what I found outside, really excited about this. I said in my previous video how these were my favourite tombs, um, but outside I found quite a few of these broken, so I had a good look inside and they really are concrete coffins. Um, there's even a space where the head would have gone. So these have obviously been emptied, as they're broken but yeah really excited about these ones i'm glad i've been able to take a, a good look inside of them and confirm that they really are 
little concrete coffins rather than just ornamental. The cathedral was founded as a monastic community in 654 AD. Mary Queen of Scots is not the only queen buried here. Um, Catherine of Aragon is, was buried here in 1536. Catherine was the first wife of Henry VIII. Very neatly lined up gravestones and lots of squirrels as usual. Um, obviously very well kept. A big boulder found from the central tower, which was rebuilt in This is where the Archbishop of York, 1801, is buried. Lovely gothic -y style stones. These are the infirmary ruins, which were built 1260 by an abbot. After we finished looking around the cathedral, we was walking through the main town and came across this quaint little church. So I thought we'd do just a quick look around this. And um, this is St. John's Church. You can see the cathedral from here, so it's literally a five minute walk away. This is where we decided to have some lunch and I highly recommend it, it was lovely. <laughs> 